All right, we've got Raw to talk about here, and uh, the show's definitely better than it was with Vince, but... I mean, you this can, one I thought dragged. This one I thought dragged. Though. Yeah, you can see that uh, it's it's every match except one outside interference leading to the finish, and that's how they long book. matches, and it's the same pattern every week. There's a long talking segment to lead to a match, which is very long, and uh, then interference, then the finish. I mean, it's I mean, not stupid. Although there was one segment on the show that was stupid, but uh, I mean, no, it's you it's, can see. It's by the it's by the book. Um, it's I mean I I mean to me like when I'm when I've been watching Raw, it's like I enjoy the show, but you know the inherent problem that is always that Raw has had for years is the three hour thing. It's like when I get to about an hour fifty in, it's like I'm ready for the show to end, and then that third hour comes and it's just you know and it's inherent. There's nothing you can do about it. I I mean. I think you know one of the things that that it's it, that they're doing now on both Raw and SmackDown is that they are not showcasing a lot of people, and I think that they are looking at do they have their core of people that you see every week, and they put them in with a lot of screen time with the idea that that maybe if you have your top stars always in the ring, you know, key top people always in the ring people are less apt to tune out and that that is maybe a better rating strategy than featuring a ton of different people. Um, and, you know, in theory, you know, it, it does make sense, especially now, because especially this week, when you're talking about going against two NFL games, you don't want a segment where people are just going to switch to the NFL games. So, I mean, they really did, if you watched, you know, the show, you always had fairly big stars on the screen um you know or, or storylines you know like the judgment day storyline like they're they're on i think that like the key people are getting it feels like they're getting you know vince did the same thing but it feels like this one that people are getting like the seth rollins and kevin owens and people like that are getting more television time than before because they're doing you know a lot of promo i mean longer you know not necessarily longer promos but as long promos as they did before for the most part but much longer matches you know oh you know like uh it's not like with vince you might get the one long match at the end or maybe one in the beginning this one it's like a lot of 15 minute matches you know going through breaks and things like that and um you know trying to you know again they, they got that's you know, football is, is killer competition, and tonight was, you know, worse than most with with the two games going on simultaneously. So, um, you know, you could see that as part of the the strategy, and you still have to build. I mean, you still have to do your your segments. You know, I mean, they did the Logan Paul segment, um, going through that because they've got to sell that. That's their big, that's their big match. You know, that they're selling is that November match with Logan Paul. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.